Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 2020 mid-month tarot check for all sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio placement in your chart, you are in the right place. Thank you to all of you who have been subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing my videos. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit that bell if you want to be notified when new videos are posted. So um, also too, I'd love to hear about anything that you've had manifest in your life. If you set your intentions and are seeing things show up, I'd love to hear about those. So it just reminds me our universe is a kind and friendly place and what we are seeking is also seeking us, okay? So here we go for Scorpio. February 2020 mid-month check. Now do know that time is fluid and if I get a um, if I get a clear picture of time I will share that with you because sometimes I might say it's March April it's in this reading but it doesn't mean it's going to be right now um, this is a life loves you card from Louise Hay I love life and life loves me when you feel envy or lack say to yourself I love life and life loves me be in love with your life let life bless you today so I would 100% agree with that. When you see somebody with something you covet, whether it's a material thing like a, a car or a purse, you know, instead of like, oh, I, I can't imagine what they paid for that, you know, think what a beautiful gift and the universe is showing me that's available. Because at some point they may have been standing in the same place I am now. Um, or if you see somebody who's in phenomenal shape, I often will say, I, you know, I hope they get in all the workouts and the healthy nutrition that they desire. So at the, this is your current position, is the Two of Cups. What is crossing you or the energies affecting it are the King of Swords. And in your destiny here, you have the Chariot, so I do like that. Behind you, I'm glad to see this back here in the distant past is the Ten of, or excuse me, Nine of Swords. And the more recent past is the Eight of Cups. Also like that kind of trajectory. Coming towards you, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you've got you represented by the Four of Pentacles. And around you, the people around you, the Seven of Wands. you got the Page of Wands as sort of your hopes, dreams, outcome you got the queen of wands as the final outcome and you got the magician i'm going to pull two of these because you got the magician and the star together so great reading scorpio i really like this for you um so you know it, this i feel like you've got you've got love and money going on here um but either way you're going in a really positive direction really solid so the two of cups of course is like your true love it can be about balance in career too. The Two of Cups can represent a long-lasting career move. If you're thinking about changing um, jobs or doing something new, it's advisable. Um, but you need clarity, okay? So the King of Swords, that's all about getting mental clarity. Um, he can be a little bit stoic. So if you, let's say you have a job interview and you're not too sure about the people because they seem maybe a little bit judgmental or um, you know, cause he can be a, a very judgmental kind of harsh, distant energy. Um, you know, it may be that it's okay to proceed, um, and not to be too turned off by that brashness, but it's, you know, again, it's air energy. You also have water here, earth, you've got cancer, Aquarius, um, fire too represented. All the elements are represented. So, um, with this, I think that you, part of this for you is if it's a love situation, you need to not be worried about what other people think about this. It's not their business. They can't live their life, your life for you. And oftentimes people like to give advice, but they don't realize they're not in that life. They can't possibly tell another person, you know, with, with much, um, with much certainty what to do. So your job right now is to do what calls you. What are you divinely inspired to do? What critical actions do you need to take? Now below here, I do really enjoy this with your, um, this is kind of like your, your destiny here. You've got the chariot. So I don't know if you are dealing with a cancer, if that's the case, 
Um, that'd be an interesting combination, wouldn't it? Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you know, you're both water. Um, so with this, this is all about moving forward. So you definitely want to move forward, but it's a very powerful card and with confidence, and that's not going to be a problem for a Scorpio at all. Um, it's a card of a major journey, though. It's like you're on this ascending soul's journey, and this really symbolizes your mind, too, managing your thoughts, moving forward, and just taking a leap of faith. It's like a more solid leap of faith than even what the Fool will offer because the Fool card can be somewhat impulsive. The Chariot is not impulsive. He sees exactly where he's going. So with this, you are in flow, you are on the right path, and you are spiritually connected. Um, it's really a, a path of spiritual perfection, okay? So this is wonderful to see. Now, in your past, you had a lot of confusion about something. Um, I do think, again, if it was a relationship, that it was very dishonest at times. It was very painful, very perplexing. It just didn't make a whole lot of sense. And part of it is the person was hiding a lot of stuff. So you were aware of it. And again, Scorpio is a psychic sign, the most psychic of the zodiac. You were, you were intuitively knowing it, but it's like you didn't want to see the truth in the matter. You were um, rationalizing. You were doing a lot of rationalizing and trying to talk yourself away from what you knew. But we teach people how to treat us. And, you know, if we aren't willing to see the truth in somebody, we'll repeat a cycle again and again. But in your case, you did have to walk away from something and you invested a lot in yourself. They may have also invested in themselves, but I actually think you've got new love coming in. You've got new love, and I don't, it's just not gonna be, there's not gonna be threatening energy. This last thing, I do feel like there was a threatening kind of energy to it, um, where the person was doing really, the word heinous came to mind, or they had done some really heinous things, and, you know, borderline like illegal stuff, and. It was like you wanted them to be their best version of themselves and they were not ready to suit up, show up, and level up. So here you are. You're walking away. You walked away. This was in the past. So you walked away and thought, you know what? I need to put myself first. I need to get myself on this list of people. And I need to, you know, settle down a little bit, get away from the chaos. You may have even gone somewhere to do that. Um, to get away from things that weren't serving you. But you definitely walk to higher ground with this. And it's like you had to walk towards your passion in life. Um, I think some secrets did come out. Um, but you knew you were doing the right thing when you did it. So down here, this is coming towards you. And this is also a manifestation card, this Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful card in terms of stability, security, but it also can be something like a um, new car. A It's interesting with that Louise Hay card because if you've been coveting something, you know, somebody else has had, it's coming your way. Could be even a new house, uh, you know, purse or something more trite like that, but could also be travel, but it's definitely a manifestation. You will be getting some attainment through this. Um, because this is all about sitting pretty and it's like this, um, you know, she's a single lady card. So if you are single, you know that you have a lot to offer and you don't need to play it small. You're not here to play small um, and you don't need to. So it really depicts so a small paradise, okay? That's kind of where she's standing. So your go any goals you have of health, money, or um, you know, work expectations, our luck is on your side, the universe is moving you forward, and your goals will be achieved with this. Now, you're a little bit of, you know, this is the miser of the tarot, you're a little bit closed off, okay? You're a little bit guarded, and I do think it has to do with this Nine of Swords situation. You're just not willing to be as tolerant as you may have been in the past. There's a part of you that's skeptical of people because of somebody that burned you. And you're going to have to move forward in forgiveness. You really will. Because, you know, have you ever heard the saying, we're not 
human doings, we're human beings. Well, with our own humanity or our beingness, we bring forward with us our own vibration. So if our vibration or frequency is tuned to resentment, hostility, and anger, we're bringing that into any situation we interact in. If your vibration or frequency is of the highest, which is love, but if it's compassion, if it's understanding, you know, we must understand to be understood, right? So, um, and I know that can be hard when you've dealt with a real dick face. I understand that. But it will serve you so much better than blocking things. And because we don't need to tune away from negativity, we need to tune in to our source. Okay, I don't block energy. I never do because I don't have low energies coming in. I never do because I know how to raise my frequency and tune in to high vibrational frequencies. So it doesn't even occur to me. Um, and, I, and I used to do things when I was many years ago trying to figure this out where I was you know, running around with sage frantically trying to clear out energy because I wasn't quite sure how to manage my own energy. But now that I know how to do that, I have a wonderful time with it. I mean, I can go into any situation. I used to hate crowded places. And if you're one of the people that doesn't like them because of energy, I get that. But now I can tune into stuff that I like. So I can be at a mall and have the best time there. Whereas I used to always encounter, you know, the people that are screaming at their kids and swatting them and stuff. So, um, you know, you just have to go with the flow and kind of accept things and be open to transformation, which I actually think that's in your nature anyway. Um, but whoever you are skeptical of, that's not going to stop them. They are willing to wait. They are willing to negotiate. They are going to be willing to work around you. Okay. And you might say, you know what, I'm going to make them because I don't want to just trust that, you know, they're not in this, um, you know, fully, they're not into, they're all in or they're not, right? And so um, for them, it's a hell yes. They're okay with this and they are going to, with this seven of wands, they are, they are taking action and they're kind of like, you know, they're fending off all these wands around them because they know that you're worth it. So um, this is your hopes and fears. Now, the Page of Wands, he is a, an affable guy, but he's definitely an ins he likes to uplift. He likes to inspire people. You want somebody like that who will be uplifting, who will, you know, you can share your dreams. A lot of times, if you are somebody who studies deliberate creation, you'll know that many of the teachings talk about being cautious with being open with your dreams because you can attract naysayers who will tell you, the opposite and it can make you build a vibration against in a limiting belief against what you really want not with this card you're attracting people who will support you who will understand you and who will want to be of any help to you that they can so with these um, you've got this page of wands who's like very creative and that's kind of what you're looking for um, I also think too like I said you're ready to move forward so it's a message telling you that Things are moving forward, whether it's with a career, whether it's with a trip. Um, there's a new adventure coming your way. You're ready for it, and it's ready for you. So with the Queen of Wands, you're going to be really radiating beauty. You're going to be in such a confident place that even though you've got that Four of Pentacles where there's a little bit of resistance, overall, you've got everything you need. Um, if you have kids, you may be busy with them right now, like you're just very heavily involved, uh, very nurturing, very stable. You may be the person, like if you do have kids where everybody seems to show up at your house and you're attracting that and that's okay even if it drives you nuts sometimes because that's your energy. You are attracting things to you and you can't do that more than with these two, my word. The magician and the star, this is all about so let's talk about these together because this is all about on the fool's journey or the soul's journey. The fool meets the magician and the fool learns about their own personal power because this, this is probably the strongest, you know, law of attraction or manifestation card um, in the whole deck. This is, you know, 
all about bringing heaven to earth. So the fool gets all these tools when he meets the magician to be able to make his wishes come true on his journey through life. So the magician is a great transformer and a great channel for energy. So if you're doing anything like in terms of energy work or anything like that, that will greatly aid you um, as you move forward here. But the star card too, this is definitely a time of inspiration and fulfillment. And when the fool meets the star, that's when the fool realizes he's being granted everything he's wished for. So that's where I kind of go with the four of pentacles, don't put too much into that because you're going to be getting a rebirth. You're also going to be gaining a lot of recognition. You can't do more than like the queen who's so beautiful and everybody is attracted to her goes right into the magician and the star. And this is like confidence galore. Um, so do know that if you're in pursuit of a career or some kind of a change that way, it's going to be showing up sooner than later. I'm going to say probably April-ish for that. But in terms of a relationship, I think that could even be sooner. I really do. I think if there's been some, um, it's it does feel a little bit more like new love for some of you. It's possible if it's an ex, it's new love with that person in a very different way though. You cannot go back to the same thing you had before. But I do think for a lot of you, it's going to be more about new stuff coming in and just enjoy it, embrace it, revel in it, um, and know that it's all intended for you. Okay, we're not here to suffer. So anyway, I'm so glad that you joined me today and I love you Scorpio and I'll be back again in about a week.